this will be how to create your own TeamSpeak for uh, for any of your servers. Um, you're going to need two files. Uh, it's going to you're going to need a TeamSpeak client and a TeamSpeak server as well. Both the links will be in the description for this. Um, right down here it says 32-bit or 64. Uh, you're going to want to make sure to choose your correct version. Just click this download link right here. I've already done so. Same with over here. You want to go to the Downloads tab, TeamSpeak 3. Then you're going to want to download your version. I've already done that as well. Once you've done that... Sorry, I'm rendering some video. I'll move them over so you can see. Now with your server, you're going to need to extract it. Just extract it right to your desktop. Then once you have that, you just double click it and click the application at the bottom. And this window you're going to want to save because you're going to need that information. Close that out. And that's all you have to do for the server. As you can see it's running down here. Now to access it you're going to want to run the client. Click next. I agree. Next next and uh, I, I recommend save inside the installation folder that way it's easy to find click next uh, yes don't need overwolf click next install click finish Uh, you can read all this if you, well, actually you want to go through here and it'll give you a nickname. Voice activation, Voice activation. it'll just it'll test, test your, your spoink. spoink. Next, next. This is the client's voice. We don't need to rent one, it's free up to 32 players. Okay, now we want to close this out, click connections, click connect, and here you want to type in localhost. Connected. And down here, this, uh, the privilege key, which will make you admin to the server. <coughs> Paste that right here. Click OK. Privilege key successfully added. Click OK. Now you can just close this. Disconnected. I'm going to show you how to port forward. And uh, you need to go to CMD, click on Run as Administrator, then you want to type in IP config, find your default gateway, which is at the bottom, it's probably locate your uh, port forward tab which is probably an advanced setup or advanced settings uh, 
then you're going to want to click add custom service I'm just going to show you this one that I already have up because it's easier the default port for our TeamSpeak is 9987 first you want to name your uh, service which you can name anything you want doesn't matter make sure it says tcp.udp uh, slash UDP then 9987 9987 this will fill in itself then you're going to want to uh, choose your computer from the list. If it is not from the list, you want to go back to your command prompt, uh, CMD, run as administrator, type in IP config, and like two above your default gateway, it'll say IPv4. You want to type that in right here. Then you just want to click apply. Now once you've done that, uh, you're going to want to run your TeamSpeak client again. Uh, your server is still running because we left it open. Then this is what you're going to want to give your friends who want to connect to your server uh, because they won't be able to connect through localhost and it will be your IPv4 plus the the port so it'll be 192.168.1.3 three I think mine was colon 9987 and then use click connect connected and that is how your friends connect to your server if you thought this video was helpful please uh, leave a like below uh, comment for any questions and subscribe for more videos thanks for watching <laughs>